مجمع الأندلس التعليمي تعلم عصري ملهم بهوية وطنية وقيم إسلامية السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear students, this is Mr. Mohamed Al-Bek with you with a new lesson. It's grammar. So please prepare yourselves. Open your students book pages, page 130, exercise C, and your workbook on page 113, also exercise C. Today's lesson is two objectives. Let's begin. One, complete six sentences using the reported commands and reported questions. And two, Rewrite five sentences using reported speech after making the necessary changes. First of all, before we begin, look at the GIF here on the left. Steve is telling Tom what the teacher has told him. She's told us to read the rules or deal with her. Pay attention, dear students, to the two infinitive here, to read. Look here at the right, the picture on the right. That was on Friday night. I will call you tomorrow. Now the girl is talking to her, another another girl, a friend. He said that he would call me the next day. Okay, let's begin. First of all, we have a video to watch. We watch it and then, then answer two or three questions. Okay, having watched the video, what do we use when we report a positive, a positive command? According to the video, when we report a positive command, we use two infinitive. Yes. And when do you think do we, when do when do you think we use the this form the not two infinitive not two infinitive the negative two infinitive? I think we use it when we have a negative command. A positive command we use to infinitive and when we report a negative to infinitive sorry a negative command we use not to infinitive first of all we have some or six sentences to do some of them are commands and some of them are not let's pay attention to the commands which which are one three this is a negative command four and that's it one, three, and four. They are commands. One is a positive command, four is a positive command, and three is a negative command. You can pause the video here, dear students, and try by yourselves before you see the answers. One, show me your ID card, the police officer said to me. 
the police officer ordered me to show him my ID card. Dear students, pay attention to the transformation of the pronouns. Your, your is addressed to the reader, which is me. The police officer ordered me to show him my ID card. The next one, who did you play football with? This is a question. It's a, it's a WH question. Yusuf asked Mansoor. Yusuf asked Mansoor who he had played football with. As you know, dear students, when we report a question, it turns into a statement. So we move from the question formation into a statement formation. Did you play becomes he had played. Three, don't jump on the treadmill. Say, say, Sally said to the child. Sally told the child, as we mentioned before, the negative command is transformed into not to infinitive. Not to jump on the treadmill. Please stretch your arms, the gym instructor said to us. The gym instructor asked us, this is a command. So we delete please. Please is not used in when we solve this statement. The gym, the gym instructor asked us to stretch our arms. Again, these squares refer to the importance of the transformation of pronouns. Your is uh, represented by us, so your is addressed to us. And your arms is transformed into our arms. Should I take up karate? Dennis thought. Dennis wondered if he should take up karate. In this type of questions, dear students, we you we begin by if because this question lacks the WH word, just like who. Who here? This question in two is a WH question. Whereas the five, the fifth one is yes no question. When we when we do a yes no question, when we report a yes no question, we begin with if. Are there any exercises exercise bikes at the gym? This is also the same as five. It's a yes no question. So we should begin. We have to begin with if. Saud asked. Saud wanted to know if there where it should be where here, not was any exercise bikes. There was any exercise bikes at the gym. There were. It should be where, not was. Okay, we move on now. We have a formative assessment thing here. Turn the music, turn off the music. Now this is a positive command and it should be done by using two. So um, the teacher told me to turn off the music or my father told me to turn off the music. Okay, let's go. Don't drive fast. My father told me not to drive fast. This is uh, another negative command. Don't play the piano. The music teacher asked me not to play the piano. Wash the dishes. My mother asked my sister to wash the dishes. This is a positive command. Make me a cup of tea. You need to transform this pronoun, me, according to the speaker. My mother told me to make her a cup of tea. Pay attention, dear students, to the pronoun here, the objective, to the objective pronoun, yes. The last one. Come and sit down. This is a positive, a positive command. 
My friend asked me to come in and sit down. Okay, dear students, now we go back to our lesson. We have here another rewrite exercise. So we should pay attention. Majid, did you remember to buy milk? Said Salman. Salman, you can pause here, dear students. Solve it by yourself and then check the answers. Majid, did you remember to buy milk? Said Salman. Salman asked Majid if he had remembered to buy milk. Yes, of course. Did you buy, remember to buy milk? This is a yes, no question. It should be started with if. And the formation of a question should be transformed into the formation of a statement. Did you should transform into he had remembered. The next one. When did you come back from school? Said Nora. Nora wondered when I had come back from school. What are you doing in my room? My brother asked me. My brother wanted to know what, what I was doing in his room. Of course, my here, my here is for my brothers. It's my brother, so it should transform into his room. And stop the car. The police officer said to the taxi driver, Order. This is a positive command, dear students. Stop the car. The police officer ordered the taxi driver to stop the car. To stop the car. Don't forget to send me the emails. Mr. Johnson told the secretary. Mr. Johnson told the secretary to forget or not to not to forget to send the emails. We have another exercise here to do. This is the closure and this is the end of our lesson, dear students. Okay, this is direct speech and reported speech. He said that he was busy that day. I think this is a reported speech. Yes, Sally said that she had studied math the day before. This is also reported. Hey, he said, I am busy today. This is direct speech. Pay attention to the quotation marks. Sally said, we have quotation marks here, so this is direct speech. And Talene said, my mom will invite her friends for dinner tonight. We have quotation marks. And my mom said that she would invite her friends. Okay. And Sally said, okay. Will you submit the answers? had them all correct. We go back now to our lesson. And that's it. That's the end of our lesson. Thank you, dear students, and see you later.